hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm doing the haul in my bedroom we're going to do a little timu haul and then we have in this box a doll to open i have a doll up there also that came in friday but i was not feeling well on the weekend so that's how come i didn't get a video out saturday but i'm waiting for Gigi to come over to open that doll <laughs> so we'll just get into the Timu haul. So the first thing I got is a mat and it has stages of the moon on it. Um, first quarter, wax and gibbous says this one. I can't read backwards, sorry. And then the full moon, and then the Wannon Gibbous. Is that what it says? I don't know. I like the moon, but I don't know all those fancy words. I don't know what it says in this corner of the mat either. It doesn't seem to be in English. But I'm going to put this in front of my kitchen sink. So... I have a little mat there. It's very soft. It's made out of the same material as uh, my shower bath mat was. Um, I don't remember prices, so I'll link them down below and I'll put the price that I paid. It might not be the price that it is now because Timo's prices fluctuate. And the next thing I got, I'm glad I brought scissors are a pair of, oh, I almost lost the back. Okay, I just don't want to lose the backs. It's a, it's a pair of um, earrings and they're like little bears and they say mama on there. So mama bear. I have to take my glasses off to put these things on. So yeah, just a cute little pair of studs. I can't wear big earrings at work due to the safety so i like those ones i don't know where to put them because they're so tiny i'll put them up here in the garbage down there and then the next thing i got is a toy for Gigi. it says build and pop fidget construction set push build pop repeat and then that's all it really says. But they're like little suction cups on the ends. Um, I wish it was resealable so I could open it. Uh, maybe I will, I'll just open a little corner. And just pull one out. So that's how they look. They're like little. And you can stick them to the window. And then they come in all different shapes. So the purple one looks like that and the blue one looks like that. So I assume that all the purple ones are like corners. If you were to build something, like stick them together. Oh, they stick really well. And then if you needed another corner, stick them together. <laughs> oh, I should take them to work. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I think Gigi will like those. Stick them back in and I'll just put a little tape on there and just say they came that way. Four-year-olds are very smart these days. Up there. The next thing I got is... Now that my hair is getting longer, it's a heatless curler. So I guess you put this around your head like this maybe, and then you curl, you wrap your hair around each one of these. But I don't know what they would stick to, because there's elastics on the end. This, oh, I was gonna say, it never comes with directions. So yeah, I was right. You wrap it around your head and then and then 
on this picture here it's all going down straight and then they're wrapping it around um just i think that last stick on the end is just to like when you get to the end of your hair just like it's like a tie so it don't, your hair don't go anywhere but i don't think i paid much for this so um i wanted to try it out something different to keep the damage off my hair because i shaved my head almost two years ago and this is how much has grown back in two years so the next thing i got is a collar for my cat <clears throat> oh i didn't know there was a screwdriver in there i better keep that plastic to put it back in there for now but anyways it has this little thing on it and you can put an air tag in there and then if you can't find your cat, you can GPS her where she's at. It's not going to save her from getting hit by cars. Oh God, it's those breakaway one too. So that means if she breaks this collar, she's losing her air tag too. But maybe I could, oh yes, I could take it off and I could put it on another collar that doesn't break away. Um, We'll see. I didn't pay much for this, like two something. I was shocked an air tag collar for like two something. Yes, please. And then the next thing I got is a bracelet and it's a, it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, crystals on there to represent the the planets. So and I don't know which order it goes in or anything. Um, if I remember, I will like screenshot a photo of what each of these crystals represent for the planets and show you guys speaking of crystals this is a lot smaller than i expected um i don't think it's worth the price i paid for it because of how small it is but anyways it's a little um triangle box and it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 36 gemstones, crystals in there. So gems from around the world. There's aqua, aquamarine, moss agate, fluorite, bronzite, Garnet, kyanite, obsidian, cr smoky crystal. I can't say that word. Prenite, P R E H N I T E. And then the next one is howlet, and then aventurine, and jade. It. Some, I've never heard of some of these stones. But anyways, I'll link it down below, and you guys can look at them if you want to see them. But um, I, I was like, should I take them off there? Because I don't like it that they're glued on there. I can see the like big globs of glue. It just doesn't look good. But I don't even know if this thing opens. Oh yeah, it opens. So I don't know if you guys can see them better. You can pause the screen also. I'll hold it there for five, four, three, two, one. So you have time if you want to pause the video and look at it. I paid $11 for this, but um, I'm not gonna complain because there's a lot of stones on there and they're, already, they're all labeled so I never have to keep asking my my witchy friends um what's this one again uh i forgot what this one is called so now i'll know because it's labeled 
The next thing I got are a pair of shoes. Um, they're in size 19. Um, they have a Velcro on there and then they have like little um, stretchy elastics. Uh, we don't need paper in there. Um, I was hoping maybe Kai would fit them, but they seem a little big. If I bought a baby shoe like this around the province I live in, in Canada, I would probably pay like $25 for these. And I think I paid five bucks on Timo. Let's see if you fit the shoes. Oh, well, you might. Oh, I'm gonna have to break these apart. I can't try them on him because they're too tightly put together. So. There we go, Kai, they look good on you. Now when you learn how to walk, you'll have shoes. So there's the shoes on Kai. I better put my glasses on because I cannot see a thing now. Oh, I'm trying to show the shoes. <laughs> So yeah, and he's probably only got like hmm, a quarter inch between his toe and the end. So that's a perfect size for Kai. Oh my God, once Gigi sees those shoes, he's gonna rip them off her. I'm gonna keep those directions for those heatless curlers. The next thing I got is a box of cards. <laughs> I didn't expect them to be so tiny, but what to expect with Chinese um, sites. Um, they're a little bit smaller than a, like a Matchbox or a Hot Wheels car. Um, they feel cheap, like dollar store quality cars. Um, there's, I'm gonna see how many is in here. Um, I think it was $30 for the whole case. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. That's a green police car. I've never seen a green police car. there's 50 cars in there and then the bottom there's like a plastic little road thingy but we'll probably be throwing that in the garbage we have a carpet kind that um he has already and it's like wrinkled up and everything i'm just gonna throw it away now he doesn't need it but there's 50 cars in here holy that's a lot of cars uh, no wonder it was 30 bucks even though they're cheap quality. But if I got 50 cars of Hot Wheels at $1.50 um, a car, I'm not very good with the math. So $1.50, oh, not math. A dollar fifty time is fifty cars. That's seventy five dollars. If I was to buy the Hot Wheels brand 
at Walmart or whatever. So I'm just trying to put them in there a little bit neat so that um, I'll be able to close the lid and everything. Um, this is going to be one out of Gigi's Christmas presents. So I'll fix it up more neater after. Maybe the, oh yeah, the cover fit is fine. So, that's for Gigi. Oh my god, I gotta reach for this stuff. Whew. My back's been really killing me. Like, that's why I didn't record all weekend. So this, this is a little cord and then this, I don't know where the cord connects to, but this goes in the bottom of your iPhone or your iPad. Um, just like that, so that you can plug up your charging port and it won't get full of dust. Uh, but I think I'm gonna put this astronaut one on my phone because I have a little teddy bear one that I'm gonna put on the iPad. I still don't know what this little like charm cord thingy is for. Like I wouldn't even know where to put it. But mm, this is, oh, I'll just show you a close up of the, of the teddy bear one before I put it on the iPad. And then that's how it looks at the bottom of the iPad. So, throw that away. Um, I'm just gonna put them in the drawer. If I don't find a use for them within a couple weeks, I'll just get rid of it. And this is a water bottle clip to put on the lawn mower when I'm out mowing and landscaping. I broke the last one I had, so hopefully I don't break this one. Um, my water bottle was too heavy and it cracked at the end. So I had to get another one. And it's also good because it labels your lawnmower so nobody takes your mower. Because I only like certain mower. And then this is a headband, I think, for Jessica because she has such ugly hair that I'm trying to find ways to hide it. Um, I really don't want to take her down because she looks so comfy up there. But you guys all know what it is. And next time I change the girls' um, clothing, I'll probably put this on one of them. are big. I don't think these will fit any of my babies. These socks are huge. Um, <laughs> come there. Um, Gabby, can I try a sock on you? Because you're the only one with the biggest feet here. Um, maybe it won't be so bad. Just a little bit of um of gapage at the toe but I think it'll work uh, I thought they were so cute they got like a little lace on them I don't think I paid much but we'll put that with the baby's clothes we're already 20 minutes in and we haven't even opened the doll yet So then, oh, the next thing I got is a little octopus toy for the cats. It has, it's, I can smell the catnip, so yeah, there's catnip in there. Um, they had like three different colors, but I love this color. And it went out of stock a couple times out of my cart, and then I was sad. I didn't grab it, and then it came back in stock, and I was like, yeah. I don't know what kind of material that is. It's like soft on one side and then it has like 
the back in on the other side. And this thing next. I don't remember ordering this. I was shocked that it came, but I'm not mad that I ordered it because um, it'll come in handy when I start experimenting with resin. that is but there's the instructions so I'm gonna keep that but yeah you can use it for um, paint pours if you want to get cells into your pictures it has a little I don't even notice it has a little like stand on there also if you're a painter you can use it like a hair dryer and like dry up your thing your paint before you move on to another part of your painting but um yeah, I'll find use for it. There, I mean, there's also an on-off switch. These are very expensive around here, like 50 bucks. So I think I paid 12 bucks or something for it. So we'll have to turn it on and see if it works. Hmm, I bet I'm gonna need batteries. takes batteries I don't know how to get it off or put it back on okay so it's a little vacuum I don't know where to back oh comes with a little brush too if you want to clean out your vacuum but I'm gonna use this for diamond painting and if I get if I spill drills then I can just vacuum them up with this and then take it off and then I still have my drills that won't go in the garbage. Hmm. Disconnect the power supply. I don't see a power supply. I want to know where the batteries go. Okay, it says battery holder. I'm just scared to break it. Okay, I got it up. So I need double A's. I don't have those. I only bought the triple A's. Yeah, they're not gonna fit. So we will have to get batteries. Oh my goodness. back in the box so we don't lose it and then the last thing that we got before we open up the doll is this smart light sound machine it's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be like pictures make it look so much bigger and when I look at the boxes at um, showcase they're a lot bigger than this box but anyways, um, it has a, some buttons on the front. I don't know how to use them yet. Um, I see a M, I don't know what that means. I see a forward and a back and a pause. Um, let's plug it in. I hate these really short cords. And it has an aux in the back and a TF, whatever TF means. Okay, let's unplug my phone. And I'm not trying to make the lights flash. I'm just trying to plug this in. But anyways. I don't know if it's how to work this thing. 
Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I don't know how to change the color. Oh, that just turned it off again. But anyways, it turned on, I'll figure it out. And then you put your phone inside here and it'll wireless charge it. I liked it because it looked like a G. <laughs> For now, G, G. So I'll figure that out. And now, for the grand entrance. Oh, some old night astronaut. He's really well taped up, that's for sure. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I paid $340 plus 15% sales tax for this doll. He came to like $370 something dollars, I think. I think it was $378, yeah. But. If I was to buy a full body silicone doll from a real reborn artist, it's going to cost me $2,000 American and up. I've seen some go for like $9,000 and I'm like, I can't afford that. No matter how beautiful and perfect those dolls are, I can't afford that. So I got this manufactured full body silicone doll from Timu. I don't know if he's upside down or anything. OMG, the tape these people use. no showing like where his head is where his feet are or anything like that let's take this baby out of here he's so heavy Oops. sorry guys didn't mean to throw that box and make it so loud but here's a bottle he's supposed to be a boy so i don't know why there's a pink bottle um we don't care about colors in this house. And then this Otard Dolls, Reborn Dolls Supplier, Lifelike Baby Doll. And it's a birth certificate, first edition number, and there's no number there. And then you can put in the birthday. Um, for my dolls, I always um, pick the day. Um, they arrived but even though he arrived today I'm putting yesterday October 9 as his birthday because it's the anniversary 24 years on October 9 that my best friend was 19 years old sorry I'm getting a little emotional <laughs> she was 19 years old and she got hit by an impaired driver walking home one night so I'm gonna give him October nine birthday um in memory of noreen michelle paul my best friend okay he's upside down because i feel his toes let's flip him over oh my goodness baby oh. i got i got him he came today, but um, I had to take a nap and stuff before I opened him up because I'm so terrified that I spent $400 on a doll that, oh my god, look at his beautiful face. Oh, I can't even do it slowly. I'm just going to rip you out of there. Oh my goodness. Hi. Look at him, guys. He floppy like a baby. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta give you a hug. Oh my baby. You're everything I dreamed about. 
boat. So we're gonna take his clothes off. Huh? We're gonna check his head. His head isn't even really that bad, like with the manufactured um, silicone dolls. They always have this little bump on their head. Um, but his thing really is bad as of some of the reviews I've seen. Um, some of them have a seam. Oh, yeah, you can see it, but it's not bad. Like, the scene is not as bad as I thought it would be. And, like, it could just be, like, a vein in his head or something. Oh, my God. I can't wait to take you to work tomorrow and show the girls. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think I was going to be this happy over a doll, but, oh, my goodness. Look at his little feet. They're, he's not like my other dolls at all. And he's not sticky. A lot of people say silicone is sticky. Oh my god, look at those toes. <laughs> so I was looking at clothes for him at Old Navy today. But I was like, I'm scared to get newborn and it'd be too small. Oh, he's already got a little diaper on. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't want to get newborn and then it'd be too small and I didn't want to get zero to three months and it'd be too big. Well, I wanted to see him first. And he is a boy, even though he got a pink bottle. Um, hopefully my video doesn't get demonetized, but I'm gonna show you the whole doll. There's this little bum, and if you look underneath, you can see his balls. So yeah, he's a boy. There's his front. There, that's all you're gonna see of his little penis because I don't want to I don't get monetized anyways but I don't want my video to be taken down I've had a video taken down already before um even this diaper ain't bad that's one thing I forgot to bring was a diaper um it doesn't say what size this diaper is but um we'll put it back on him oh my god he's so cute Oh my goodness. I am not disappointed in this purchase for sure. The diaper that they provided is a little bit big um, and it's not sticking. Give me one second and I'm gonna go grab a different diaper. No worries, please stay up. Archie, don't be coming in here and making a mess. I couldn't find the diapers. I don't know where the heck I put them. But we'll take this one off. This was Jessica's. Oh my god, that's a size. It doesn't say what size it is. This diaper is even bigger. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to go get some uh, preemie diapers for him. But, um, they say you're supposed to powder your silicone doll, but um, there's hair stuck on your face already, baby boy. Um, but I'm, he's not sticky, so I'm not gonna powder him right now. I'm just gonna put another onesie on him and this is zero to three months so after I get this on I will know um, if I need to get him preemie clothes I think I am gonna have to get him preemie clothes he 
Yeah, zero to three months is way too big. It's like, woof. And I don't think I had any clothes that fit him. Um, I went and bought them, bought him socks today. And then I got him a hat and booties to try to hide um, that part on his head that um, when they pour, pour the silicone. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have a name reveal soon. I'm just gonna put the hat on him and then I'm gonna put him in his pajamas because it's eight o'clock in the evening and it's almost his bedtime. I'm just gonna push you up a little bit. I have a pack of Pampers at work too, so I'll grab one tomorrow if I don't find their Pampers. It's weird that they, the Pampers just hiding from me. Oh, that's right. Pull on you, baby. Your clothes are too big for you. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go get you some preemie clothes. Every time I pull on his fingers or his hands, I'm like, oh, don't do that. Don't pull on it. It's just, uh, I find it's hard to, harder to dress a silicone doll than it is a vinyl doll. to get you some different clothes baby B. these clothes are way too big for you so there he is and now we're going to reveal his name i decided i'm going to name him syllabi which means in my language it means levi l-e-v-i that's my husband's name so this doll is named after my husband and um, the baby boy we never got to have. We only had girls. So there he is. There's a close-up of him. Oh my goodness. Look at your little nose and your little lips. Oh my God. We gotta say bye, Levi. We've been, <laughs> we've been on mine for 40 minutes. We gotta say bye, but we'll be back on Friday or Saturday, depending on what time Gigi gets here after school Friday. And he's gonna be so excited to see baby Levi. I'll say Levi when um, I'm on camera. Um, that way I don't confuse you guys about what his, how to say his name in the Mi'kmaq language. But, oh my god, he's so cute. I'm so happy and I'm going to snuggle with him all night. So, thanks for watching. Till next time, say bye, Levi.